All right, hi Scorpio, this is gonna be your reading. This is for Scorpio placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Be sure to flip and switch the roles and pick which side of the story you're on, okay? So what do Scorpio placements need to know right now? So we got blessings. Okay, Scorpio, so you got some blessings coming in. Who had this? I forgot, but you got some blessings coming in. This could be in the form of love, money, careers, a new home. You guys could be going through some changes. You guys could be having more fun, going out more, making new friends, learning new things, you know, traveling. What else? We got success. Pisces just had that. Who else had that? I forgot. But um, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes, Scorpio. So, and success could be anything. Success can be breaking a record, first uh, a hobby or 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 something that you're good at. It could be learning a new skill. It could be getting better at something. It could be getting a raise, a promotion, a new job, love, your health increasing, you becoming more happy, whole, content within yourself, making new friends, uh, breaking a pattern. You know, getting yourself out of something. It could even be uh, doing things differently, not in the normal way you do it. You know, it could be, it, you know. Something working out or something, you know, it's good. What else? And we have inner peace. Yeah, a lot of y'all are having inner peace. You can have Pisces in your chart. Are you dealing with somebody that does? But uh, somebody here can have a tattoo of a koi fish or birds, a panther's here, some flowers, roses possibly. But anyways, somebody, some of you guys can love like um, aquariums or you can need to go uh spend time near water or go to an aquarium um but you guys are finding a lot of inner peace and for some of you guys that's your success that's the blessing you guys finding inner peace sometimes the blessings and success isn't always tangible or physical sometimes it's just being happy feeling whole finally feeling content you know what i'm saying yeah a lot of you guys could be releasing a lot of things something about the fall significantly uh october november that is your birthday month, but something about the fall, maybe winter, but I'm getting heavy fall and spring energy, fall and spring, fall of this year, spring of next year. Let's see, what's the blessings here? If, if you're not feeling like this now, you'll be feeling like this in the fall or by spring for some of y'all, okay? But keep going. Uh, if you're in hell, don't just sit there and stay, keep walking until you get out of it, right? And, and hell looks like, hell looks different for everybody. It could be a bad relationship, getting over an ex, getting over in social anxiety, uh, doing something new, sticking to a routine, starting a new uh, diet, uh, starting and going to the gym. It could look like studying something, going back to school, a new job, whatever it is. Just keep going. Okay, what's blessings? Okay, the strength card. You or somebody can have Leo in your chart. You're very resilient. You're very strong. You're comp you're getting you're gaining your confidence, your vitality, your power. Okay. Yeah. Something could be happening in the summer next year. Uh July, June, July, or August. What's blessings? Four of Wands in reverse. For some of you guys, you guys could be moving. Venus and Aries here, you could be uprooting. Some of you guys have outgrown an environment. There could be a new addition to the family. Come like by way of a baby or something for the holidays or y'all could be traveling with family or visiting family or people could be coming to see you for the holidays but some of you guys could be moving uprooting okay some of you guys have outgrown a particular environment possibly yeah queen of cups in reverse the temperance in reverse the tower yeah some of you, somebody here could be finding out that they're pregnant that's why they're so moody and stuff okay or overly emotional something could be happening in sagittarius aries leo season scorpio season for some of you that's not for everybody is not expecting okay um what's the strength card some of you guys could be getting a new roommate or you could be getting your own place if you guys were roommating with somebody maybe you'll have enough to like just have a place to yourself what's the strength card yeah six of cups something that's that could be it. Some y'all, somebody's about to have a little girl. <laughs> hmm. Six of Cups. She's gonna look for somebody. If you guys are gonna have a daughter, she's gonna look just like you. For my ladies, 
just like you. She's going to look just like you. Just like you. Or act like you something. Six of Cups, Scorpio, Sun Energy, Heavy Scorpio Energy. Some of you guys could be connected to another Scorpio or someone that has Scorpio in your chart. Or you could be a different sign watching for your Scorpio placement. There's something, uh, there could be something about a past life connection. Something's not over between you and someone. For some of you guys, that's not for everybody. Don't go, I'm not talking about that toxic ass ex or that relationship or ex that had you isolated in solitude for months. I'm not talking about that person. <laughs> I ain't talking about that person. This could be somebody that you, you're meeting in this lifetime for the first time. This could be a past life connection. Okay, what's the six of cups here? Six of Pentacles here in reverse. Moon and Taurus. So there could be some type of... So maybe for some of you guys, with the Four of Wands in reverse, could be a lack of support. Maybe you're not... Maybe this could be like from an older sibling or a parental figure or family or people around you that you don't feel like fully support you in something or someone. Maybe somebody here could be taking back a gift or somebody's not really giving to someone. Somebody here could be withholding emotions or withholding something. Okay. I don't know if somebody was breadcrumbing someone or being or using. Somebody here could need a place to stay. So I don't know if they're trying to kiss your ass now and be nice to you because they need money or a place to stay or they need something from you. Be mindful of that, whether you're a man or a woman. Six of Pentacles in reverse. You hear somebody the fool here. When somebody thinks you're like gullible, naive. Maybe you were in the past, but not now. I hope hopefully not now. Like I told Sagittarius, or was it Cap? Sag, oh, I told Taurus, and Taurus is your sister sign. You or somebody can have Taurus in their chart. Go watch Taurus's reading. God is not going to bless no mess. God is not going to bless you when you're around the wrong people. It, it's just not going to happen. When you're not in the right environment, you're not going to get your blessings. The fool here, Aquarius, Aries energy. Something about a child for some of you guys. But um, anyways, or your inner child, your your mem your childhood, there could, there's something that there's something that could be making you feel nostalgic about something or someone. Y'all could be having a hard time leaving something or someone in the past. I don't know if you guys are like I said in your last reading. Here we go, Scorpio. Don't don't get me mad, please. Don't annoy me. Don't annoy me. <laughs> Cross watcher, whoever's watching. I don't know. Somebody's waiting for somebody to change. They're not you, like I said in your last reading. I, you, you know, what's not? Somebody needs to turn this. Y'all, y'all see what I'm doing? Somebody needs to turn this on. Somebody needs to turn this on. Somebody. I don't know. Somebody's waiting for somebody to change or come around. It's not gonna happen. Y'all gonna be turning to a fucking skeletor or a skeleton until somebody changes. Somebody here just they come around to use you. Suck up your energy and then go back and then go about their business again. What's the fool here? The chariot in reverse. Yeah, this ain't somebody is blocked from coming, told you because they're a fucking user. Cancerian energy. I feel like somebody's like an Indian giver. Or somebody loves what conditions. And this could be something that you've experienced from your mother, Scorpio. Some of you guys. You can need to be mindful of that if you are going to be parents for the first time or if you are working with kids or around kids. Some of you guys could have picked up on some things. Like you could have gone through something with whatever parent, your father, mother, whoever, where their love was very conditional. Like who I, I was telling that to cancer. So you or somebody can have cancer in their chart um, where basically like you do this for me and then I'll, I'll love you or I'll be nice to you. If you don't act right, or if you don't behave, then I'm going to then I'm going to. I'm not going to give you affection. I'm not going to help you or something like that. That's not unconditional love. That's conditional. For some of you guys, y'all could have overextended yourselves to somebody that you have history with. And you could be trying to break free from that. Somebody could be trying to bribe a child or bribe somebody into doing something. Or maybe they did. I feel like somebody here is naive or somebody thinks someone is naive. And, you know, what's the chariot in reverse? 
somebody here could be feeling a yeah king of pentacles in reverse somebody here could be feeling a bit lost stranded emotionally mentally somebody here could be lacking security when it comes to something taurus virgo capricorn aries energy somebody could be april aries april taurus there could be something somebody doesn't there could somebody could be going through some type of instability or somebody's not feeling as sturdy or secure or solid with whatever this blessings whatever this new blessing is maybe somebody feels they don't have enough to give if this is about love somebody feels like you know somebody has a hard time giving and receiving freely maybe they were used in the past abused betrayed in the past so somebody here doesn't really open up or give or they don't know how to receive okay um for others of you if it's about you know becoming a parent somebody could be worried about passing something down okay maybe somebody could be worried about having enough finances enough resources, enough support, not just financially, but, you know, just support in way of people. It takes a village. As a parent myself of a two-year, half, two and a half year old, it takes a village. It, it takes a village. It, and it's more than just the parents and the grandparents and the aunts and uncles. It takes a village. It takes a bigger, it takes more than that. Some of you guys are going to find, for those of you who are pregnant, you're going to find out who's it. And, you know, and when I was pregnant with Nova, You'll be surprised at the people that you expect to be there for you won't. And the people that you don't expect to really show up for you and go hard for you will. That's what's so crazy. That's what's so crazy. That's what's so crazy. So some of you guys are going to be whatever this, this could be a new job. This could be, a, you know, a child, new love, whatever it is. You're going to you're going to see who's or you or you guys becoming a new person. You guys no longer overextending yourselves, no longer being used and letting people overburden you or letting people take, take, take from you. And you're not you're no longer undervaluing yourself. You're not going to be with people who don't got their shit together, people that can't give and receive what you have to give and receive, you know, what you have to offer. And you're going to see who, you're going to see like who really supports you and who really doesn't. This could just be, the blessing could be you guys changing, evolving. Everybody's not going to support that, especially if they feel stuck in their life or they don't, or if they want to be a martyr or don't know how to change. Everybody's not going to, you know, uh, King of Pentacles in reverse. You know, Knight of Wands. Somebody here's a bit restless. Again, somebody here's a, a bit wanderless. They're lost. I don't know if somebody's in and out of your energy because when they need something, like I said. Okay. Knight of Wands, Scorpio, uh, Sagittari Sagittarius energy. Somebody could be born in November. Somebody's ungrounded. Somebody here could also be this. If this is like, a, if you're, if this is a man, this is not for everybody. If you're in a happy relationship or marriage, I'm not talking to you. Okay, learn. I want people to learn how to learn. I want people to learn how to interpret and listen to tarot readings. People be panicking, getting shook, getting in their head, and it's not even that part of the story doesn't even belong to them. These are general readings. You take what's yours and you leave the rest for whoever needs it. Everybody's story is going to be a bit different. I'll be trying to throw out different scenarios, but you know, my readings are already long, so just use your intuition, please. Okay, anyways. Some of you guys could be dealing with some. Somebody here could be. I'm getting a man who's a hobosexual for my ladies. They need a place to stay. Somebody here could maybe they're really good at sex. They're good in the bedroom. Somebody has no stability. They don't have a place to live or this or you know somebody in, in and out of homes. They ain't got no money. They wanna they they could have burnt all their bridges. If you're a man, this person could have used you in the past for money. They could have had you feeling all unstable or wobbly emotionally, mentally, financially for some of you because they was in and out of your energy. They were somebody here is just all over the place with their energy or they could, or somebody could have had you like this man or woman. I feel like somebody here needs to grow up. Somebody just doesn't have no sense of security, stability. They're all over. This could be a family member of yours. Somebody's all over the place. Somebody is restless. They can't sit their ass still. This person could be heartbroken over something else from their past, or this is you, or they could be leaving you heartbroken. What's the Knight of Wands? Yeah, Three of Wands in reverse. Somebody always thinks the grass is green, or somebody could have missed out on an equal give and take on a soulmate connection with somebody because they always think there's something better. Somebody has, what, do you, what kind of syndrome is that? I don't know what it is, but somebody always thinks the grass is greener. Somebody's never satisfied. Some of you guys have an ex that's 
butt hurt about you got whatever this blessing is that's coming in for you there there or somebody could be trying to come in and out of your energy to block a blessing so if you got if you got an ex whether you're a man or a woman that's in and out or you off and on with somebody they're blocking your blessings and, and love and whatever if you got money then they're blocking your blessings and love if you got love but no money they blocking that whatever somebody here is blocking somebody's blessings or somebody here needs to get somebody here could be feeling frustrated trapped restricted there's delays here i don't know somebody here is getting frustrated impatient somebody's definitely restless ungrounded somebody here could be unemployed somebody could be a scam artist or a scammer too or somebody's obsessed with somebody here is just really superficial. Somebody could have missed out on an opportunity by being really superficial. Three of Wands in reverse. Well, yeah, the Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. You or somebody can have Virgo somewhere in your chart. Knight of Pentacles here, Virgo, Leo energy. Somebody could be an August Virgo, August Leo. Somebody here could be behind on rent or they're not paying their rent on time because they over they're spending, they're either over giving to somebody that or or they're just overdoing something. Somebody's irresponsible. Especially if they're trying to keep up with the Joneses. Hermit in reverse. Somebody could be feeling hella isolated, hella recluse from everybody. But my ladies who are pregnant, you could be like people not inviting you to things as much anymore. Or you can feel I know I felt that a bit when you get later into your like your pregnancy, like the last trimester, because you, you some of you guys could be nesting for my ladies. If you are pregnant, you could be nesting. So maybe you don't really want to be around people. But at the same time, you could feel hella recluse, isolated, even paranoid, scared. Some of you guys are going to be embarking on something completely new. For some of you guys, if it's not about pregnancy, you're going to be dating somebody that's out of your norm, out of your type. That could be a bit scary. Maybe they're into things that culturally or maybe one person is really religious and other and another person is spiritual or you know somebody there could be a difference in age there could be a you know whatever it is right for others of you it could be a new job maybe it's in a, some of you guys could be moving for work it's in a whole different environment you could be moving to a whole different neighborhood right there's some type of it's a blessing but it could make it could have you or somebody feeling a bit uncomfortable and a bit unsettled and fear could it be taken over or somebody let their fear overtake or take over and somebody could miss out on an opportunity or a blessing yeah something that could be ultimate wish fulfillment ultimate happiness so just be mindful of that, okay? But somebody here can also, just like I said, they think the grass is always greener. Somebody here could be a bit too superficial. Hermit in reverse, and that's really because somebody somebody could be really hollow and really shallow. Somebody's worth, they, somebody here ties their worth to what they have. So a person like that is going to tie another person's worth to what they have and what they're able to do. And that's not how you, and you shouldn't base love on that. I think that's not a good way to, that's not something good to base love on. That's just my opinion. You don't want to be with a bum, obviously, but know the difference between a person who's getting themselves together and somebody who's like a bum, who's just lazy. They have no goals, no ambition, no hobbies. They have nothing that they're in. They just, you know, just want to fuck all day and just lay around and do nothing. Know the difference for my men and women. Know the difference. What's the hermit in reverse? And for others of you, you can either get outside, go explore, get out of your get out of your normal territory. For some of you guys, you're not finding love or the blessings you seek or want because you keep you need to cast your net further. Some of you guys need to date outside of your normal type or get out of your neighborhoods. Your maybe y'all need to move. I don't know. Somebody needs to do something a bit different. Get out of their comfort zone in order to receive something. Try something new. Hermit in reverse. Okay, five of swords and the high priestess. Somebody here is letting fear get to them really bad somebody here could have self-sabotaged something or they could be self-sabotaging because somebody here is going back to the past or there's or somebody's holding on a grudge or holding on to someone or something from their past saturn and pisces here with the eight of cups in reverse nine of cups in reverse jupiter and pisces yeah somebody here is somebody can have really bad abandonment issues somebody could be really codependent somebody's off and on with somebody or they make up to break up somebody's non-committal this could be a, anyways y'all okay here we go okay <laughs> five of swords self-sabotage mind games i don't know if somebody comes in and out to play mind games with somebody 
there could be a language barrier between you and someone a bit yeah the high priestess here pisces cancer energy somebody here could be doing some shit behind the scenes or I just feel like whatever somebody's doing to try to hurt your feelings or whatever, that's because they feel insecure. I don't care if they have more money than you. I don't care if they have a bigger house than you. I don't care what they have, quote unquote, more than you. Or cross watch, it could be a Scorpio doing this. Somebody here is a loser. Somebody, somebody does. Anyways, what's this four wands in reverse? <laughs> Two of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody has no stability. Somebody's losing everything. Somebody's house could be a fucking mess. There could be clothes everywhere, things everywhere. Somebody's a slob with that King of Pentacles in reverse. They look, they dress nice, but they're a fucking slob. Man or woman. Or, so, or somebody could look good. They can have a nice house, it, clean or not. Internally, they're a fucking mess. Either their environment or their mental and eternal and insides are a fucking hot mess. Somebody here could be moving to a pentacles in reverse. I don't feel like you guys are open to hearing what somebody has to say or they're not open to hearing what you have to say. Um, somebody here could have been juggling two of pentacles, Jupiter and Capricorn. Something could be affecting somebody's finances. Something could be going back on somebody. What's this two of pentacles in reverse? King of wands in reverse and the king of cups. Somebody can have water and fire in their chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here, Cancer Energy, July Cancer, July Leo, King of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, October Scorpio, October Libra Energy. Somebody here could be really bitter. Somebody can't maintain, somebody can't maintain this false um, image anymore. If they have somebody trying to keep up with the Joneses or keep up with the parents, spend beyond their means, they, they can't do that no more. Now somebody wants to show some emotion. Now they want to, now, now they, now they need some help. Now they want to, now they want, now they want to make you feel loved. If you're a man, this woman now wants to make you feel loved. This, 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 this woman could be a bit of a fucking prostitute. I and mean, if we being correct, if we really like getting to somebody here, could they, it's very like, oh, you know, it's like after y'all have sex, they ask you for something. Or after they do something. It's, it's like, I know somebody here likes to make you feel good, blow smoke up your ass, and then they'll ask you for something. And maybe some of y'all like that. I don't know. Some men like those type of trans. Somebody here could be really, really transactional. Some people like those transactional situations, right? If you're a woman, this man now wants to show some emotion. This person's a player. They can't keep their penis or vagina to themselves. They're going to try, somebody's going to try to come and play on your emotions because they, they're having some type of instability. They don't have, they, they're not, they're codependent. They can't stand on their own. They're going to come and drop their burdens onto you. They're not going to take accountability for what they did or said to you or whatever they put you through. Somebody's obsessed with their image. Somebody here could even be jealous of you. It's a lot. Okay. I'm getting a lot. King of Cups. A lot. If, uh, world in reverse delays, uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, uh, Leo energy. This person, somebody here is going through delay. Somebody here is stuck in a fucking portal. Somebody here is not that somebody doesn't want to make um the sacrifices that are needed or the changes that are needed. So that's why they're stuck, they're blocked. So they want to come and siphon energy or energy harvest or use you for some things. Absolutely not. No. Somebody thinks you're weak. No. And maybe you were weak for this person in the past, but not now, or you don't need to be. I will hope not. Somebody wants to circle back around. Y'all have quote-unquote unfinished business. There's a quote-unquote lack of closure. Okay, spare me. World in reverse. Yeah, seven of pentacles. You, it's like you, some of y'all are like, some of y'all know this person does, somebody does something every, it's like somebody does something seasonal. It's like this person's behavior is very predictable. It's like, okay, here's, it's almost that time. It's almost that time again for someone so to ask me for some shit. This person could even ask you shit around your fucking birthday. Bitch, are you kidding me? They don't even come bringing or bearing no damn gifts and have the nerve to ask you for something. You got to be kidding me. You got to be shitting me. You got to be shitting me. This person's a sneaky. They're conniving. They're ch this this person. Yeah, look at them. Four cups all pouty and things. Some of y'all have caught on to this person's behavior or patterns. There's a negative pattern that you had on repeat when it came to a person. And y'all caught on to something. And you, and you need to let this person go. Or hopefully, you, you know, Scorpio, I ain't going to tell nobody what to do. Y'all grown. Y'all do what, what y'all want. But you got to be shitting me <laughs> because now 
somebody do shit around your damn birthday too but maybe you feeling vulnerable and they, that's when they want to kiss your ass and shit like that you sitting there looking at this person in disgust like the fucking beggar and user that they are seven of pentacles using ass the ten of swords yeah some, somebody go, betray your ass and you this person done betrayed you a million times over gemini sun energy here this person all they care about is money all they care about is money man or woman all this person care about is money their image and how they look <laughs> no absolutely not For some of you guys, I, something is not going to go full term. Something's going to happen in like seven months or at the seven month mark. Okay. For some of you guys, that could be that. Something is, yeah, there's something that's going to happen. Or once something hits the seven month mark on something or the seventh day or week or whatever this person, that's when, I don't know, what's this ten of swords here? Something could be happening in seven months, I guess. That would be what next? That would be March. No, that would be April. If we be in, yeah. October, November, Scorpio. Scorpio, really? October, November, December, January, February, March, April. So something could be happening in April. So something seasonal. Okay, seasonal changes. You had a temperance in reverse. Some of you guys, something could be happening in Sagittarius season. I don't know. Somebody here is going to be giving birth or their water's going to break. Somebody's not going to go to full term. Or if you were if something was supposed to happen in Pisces or Sagittarius season, it's going to happen in Scorpio season. For some something is not going to something is yeah, for some of y'all, something's going to happen at the 7 I'm getting 7 months. Something's going to happen at the 7 month mark. I don't know if somebody water breaks, somebody's going to have to be on bed rest. If this is about a pregnancy for some of you, Or in seven months, you're going to find out you're pregnant or, you, or I don't know. But the temperance, for that's for those of you who are with child, okay? Or your partner is. Temperance in reverse Sagittarius energy. You or somebody can have Sag in your chart. Um, this temperance in reverse, somebody goes from zero to 100 so fast when they don't get what they want. When somebody tells them no, and you're just looking at this person like a damn peasant and child that they are. Somebody thinks something is all about them. Even on your birth in your birthday season, in your birthday month or birthday, they still make it about their ass. Ain't that some bullshit? Somebody's emotionally manipulative, codependent as hell. They're they they very manipulative. They play on somebody here knows how to play on somebody's emotions really well. It's is too well. Man or woman. Or somebody's seen you this way. I don't know. Uh temperance here. Somebody's doing something in excess. What's this? Um What's this temperance here in reverse? Temperance in reverse. Yeah, eight of pentacles. Virgo energy. You are somebody heavy Virgo here. With the temperance in reverse, a lot of y'all, there's something about divine timing here. I don't know if you guys are getting impatient. Like I said, somebody here is getting restless with something. Y'all can also have a monitoring spirit. Go watch Aries because I got that for Aries. There's a monitoring spirit around somebody. It could be what you do for work or what somebody does for work. Something could be happening to somebody while somebody's at work. Or something, yeah, something happens while a person is at work, school, or at their desk, or sitting down, or doing something at the library. Let's get to success. Something between seven and eight months, okay? Su success. Maybe that's, yeah, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Uh, March Pisces, March Aries. Somebody here is worried. Somebody, I don't know, somebody's trying to fuck with your, your self-esteem. Or this, if you're a Scorpio man, somebody here only wants you for what you can do for them. And if you're a woman, same thing. Somebody thinks you don't know. Somebody doesn't think, somebody doesn't, they don't value you. Man or woman, somebody don't value you. Success here. 
yeah ace of cups will of fortune i feel like this for some of you guys if it's about can some of you guys could have problems conceiving in the past but somebody here is having a girl <laughs> It's going to be a success, but it's going to happen in divine timing. For those of you who aren't pregnant yet, it's going to happen when spirit thinks it's happened, when they think you're ready. A lot of you guys aren't ready because you still don't feel whole and complete within yourself. And you think a baby is going to make you feel that way. And it's not. Okay. God is not going to give you something if you're, if, if you don't have, if you can't support or have it in the right environment and the right environment isn't just about where you live, what you have. It's also about who you are at your core. Okay, so there could be some things that need to change about you or within you. What's success here? Yeah, three of pentacles in reverse. There could be hostility in the workplace. Okay, three of pentacles, Mars and Capricorn. Somebody could be trying to get out of, get out of a bad contract with someone. This could be business related. Somebody could be really, this somebody, a co-worker, a manager, somebody here could be a teacher. Somebody here is overbearing. They're really competitive, really insecure. They're jealous, envious. Somebody could be trying to take credit for somebody else's work or steal somebody's idea. Somebody's unoriginal. What's this Queen of Wands in reverse? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody trying to destiny swap with somebody as well. Fuck with your fertility, possibly, or your ideas. What's this or what you do for work? Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this could be somebody who's bitter. They're heartbroken about their own life here. This could be a couple doing this. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. All somebody cares about is money, like I said. Somebody could be at a job or bored or at some place doing something for money. They hate it there. Some of you guys are really skilled at something. Maybe it's time to go down a new path or I don't, you know, or you have to something. There could be a goal or a project that's unfinished. Somebody can have earth and fire in their chart. A uh, Taurus rock or Capricorn. Sagittarius here. Somebody could be a December Capricorn, December Sag. Uh, whatever somebody do is not um, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse. We could be seeing Ten Ten, uh, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. Saturn and Sagittarius. Some of you guys can need to learn how to say no to somebody. You could be feeling tired, fatigued, drained. Some of you guys could be single parents or you have a lot on your plate. And even if you're a man, you can just be very, you're very, you're a caretaker. You like to take care of people around you, but you can be really tired. Some of you guys need to take a break or learn how to tell people or a particular person no. Okay. Turn along, learn how to delegate tasks. Somebody here could be having basically a damn nervous breakdown. Somebody here could be really tired, dehydrated. Somebody here can work too much. Turn the wands in reverse. Nine of wands in reverse. Somebody's body could be breaking down. Moon and Sagittarius. What's this nine of wands here in reverse? Yeah, the page of wands in reverse. Somebody could be being pessimistic. Somebody here is acting out. Somebody's behavior is so predictable, Scorpio. Especially if you're a Scorpio man dealing with this. Somebody's behavior. So this bitch will act out anytime you tell them no. Or if you say, I ain't got it right now. Or if you say you can't do something. These people or this person acts the fuck out. It's ridiculous. You can tell them a hundred yeses. The minute you say no, it's like you never did shit for this person. That's crazy to me. Somebody's inner child. Somebody is just obsessed with money. Somebody has some inner child wounds that they really need to look at. Somebody's too obsessed with how they look. Somebody's really heartbroken. And somebody uses their money, their success, their stability to mask their pain. Whether it's from their childhood, an ex, or whatever this is. Somebody's hair is really wounded and scarred and probably got some damn ptsd somebody trying to use their money and shit to overcompensate or their looks somebody could put too much emphasis on how they look how they dress and what they have but inside they feel like shit and that's the problem too that's why somebody here keeps getting in these unrequited love situations 
people keep choosing, somebody keeps choosing people based on what they look like and what they have and not how they make them feel. Page of Wands in reverse. Somebody keeps repeating the same mistakes over and over again. Yeah, somebody here keeps falling for a loop. Somebody here could be doing sex magic on somebody, Venus and Scorpio. Somebody's trying to like destiny swap or block something for you so they can get something for themselves. And they could be doing this through sex. Somebody here could be, yeah, something could be blocked. If you've been having fertility issues in the past, you're gonna that's gonna change. Somebody that was playing in your energy. And for others of you, somebody here is trying to use sex, their looks to somebody could be doing glamour magic, or somebody here trying to distort somebody's view of them or distort how you see them using their whack ass vagina or penis. Oh gosh. Whack shit. That whack ass shit. If you gotta do all of that, you whack bitch. And bitch is gender neutral for me. Bitch can be a man or a woman in my eyes. Somebody leave this bitch out in the cold. Yeah, this Empress in reverse is overbearing. Always sorry for, for they damn selves. If it's a woman or a man with these fucking mommy issues, that's always yeah. Somebody here is just bitter, they're overbearing and they don't they don't know their worth. Somebody got really bad abandonment issues, trust issues, they just got issues. This person don't know their damn worth. Or they don't know yours. They don't value you. Seven of Cups. Somebody here can have a lot of options. Or somebody chose somebody chose a decision off of their penis and vagina. And now they with some type of somebody here could be with somebody here could like strippers. Or somebody's with somebody that they didn't know was like a whore. <laughs> a prostitute or prostitutish or a user. Seven of Cups. <laughs> Ace of Wands. Somebody can smoke too much damn weed. Uh, somebody, yeah, somebody made a decision off of their penis and vagina. And now they stuck somewhere. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the sun here. Now, yeah, somebody, something is being exposed. Somebody didn't want to see something. Somebody refuses to see something about themselves or a particular person, but yet they feel stuck. Yet they don't like the choices or decision they make they made or make yet they feel like they're out of options some of you guys can feel like you're out of options but you're not looking in the right places possibly in whatever area of that is love work whatever you're not you're not looking in the friends you're not looking in the right places somebody here is being too superficial like i said son yeah the hero font in reverse somebody could be seen that somebody's not really a team player somebody's not really like cooperative some of you guys, if you're going to go to HR about something, don't don't even bother. HR protects the company. They do not give a fuck about their coworkers or employees. Okay, so, and that could be what somebody's realizing too. Like, HR don't give a fuck about nobody. That, they don't. Taurus here with the hero font. There could be this. There could be discord with coworkers, people in school, or whatever this is. Or somebody here could be a principal. This could be like you have a child, their teacher, their principal. Something here is corrupt. Something here is really corrupt. Somebody could work in a hospital. What's this? Or for like um, some type of government or organization. What's the or school? What's the hero font in reverse? Yeah, pay something about a, a, yeah a child. Somebody could be getting bad news. Some of y'all, if y'all have y'all are paying out so much money for something regarding your kids or a kid or to have one and it's not working or you're realizing. Some of y'all don't even have to pay. Okay, I just, okay. Page your cups in reverse. Bad news. Somebody not listening to their inner voice. I feel like somebody's overspending for something. Yeah, somebody's either overcompensating. Somebody's obsessed with their image. And it's to the point where somebody's losing their morals. They're losing their code. They're losing their way. Because all they care about is how they look. They don't care about how they feel no more. They don't care fuck about how other people feel, whether they know this or not. Somebody's becoming really shallow. Um, for others of you, y'all don't really, somebody here is overpaying for something when if they just did the inner work, they will get what they wanted like that in a snap.
page of cups in reverse. Somebody could be really shy. Somebody can have, there could be a child or a person. If, if y'all don't got kids, then this could be about your inner child. Or maybe you do. Somebody here has a, a mother wound here. Or somebody's mother or a mother figure is just really depressed. They're bitter. What's this page of cups in reverse? Nine of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's really obsessed with their image. I, I, I don't even... Somebody could be going down the wrong path when it comes to what they're doing for work or what they're studying or what, or somebody did something in haste regarding their money or a job or a contract. Y'all could be seeing 999. Hmm. Sagittarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Gemini. Libra, Aquarius, they got 999. So you or them can have that in your chart somewhere. Now, I know somebody here is really codependent, really insecure. I know I keep going, I keep saying that, but somebody needs to do the, the inner healing work. Somebody's inner is not matching their outer. I don't care how good somebody looks. I don't care how nice their house looks. I don't care what they drive, what they have, what they do for work, how much, what their salary is. Somebody is not happy inside. And that's why somebody keeps repeating the same mistakes in regards to love or certain behavioral patterns and shit like that. What's this nine of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, the star. Somebody here needs to heal. Somebody here can need to go on a detox, a purge, a cleanse, Aquarius energy. You or somebody can have Aquarius in their chart. Somebody could be feeling really vulnerable. Or this person trying to catch you when you're feeling really vulnerable, when you're feeling weak. Or they could be trying to weaken your self-esteem so that that can make you ease more easily controlled or easily taken advantage of a bull <laughs> somebody's trying to catch somebody at a weak or vulnerable state or point to ask for something or get something somebody here thinks you're gullible and naive and like i said maybe you were for this person or maybe you were at a particular time of your life you're not no more Hold on, Scorpio. Um, mm. What's the star here? Yeah, Ace of Cups. So uh, somebody here could need a good cry. Okay, some y'all can need to drink more water. Somebody here could be dehydrated. Somebody here drinks too much coffee. They smoke too much. They, somebody here is doing something in excess. Somebody here could be a workaholic. Somebody's doing something in excess and they're not. What's this Ace of Cups? Yeah, Eight of Swords. Gemini, Jupiter, and Gemini. Somebody is like in some type of mental imprisonment or somebody feels stuck, they feel trapped. Somebody needs to listen to their intuition because maybe somebody's mentally confused about something or whatever. Maybe you guys, maybe there's going to be a change of plans or you got to change courses or change directions. Eight of Swords here. The Tower. Somebody could be getting locked up unexpectedly for scamming. Aries, Scorpio energy. Or something, something could be suddenly happening. I don't know if somebody here finds out that they're pregnant all of a sudden and it's like a tower, it's like something unexpected. Somebody's in their head about it or somebody got somebody pregnant. It could be an unplanned pregnancy or unexpected for some of you. For others of you, this could be love striking you unexpectedly and you could be in your head about it. Maybe you wasn't even looking for this or you didn't. I feel like somebody's in their feelings about something though. Something is hitting somebody all of a sudden. What's the, but I think it's, it's going to be a blessing, but somebody's in their head about it. And I don't know if it's, I don't know if somebody here is procrastinating or somebody is letting fear. Something could be getting in the way of a connection. You could be dealing with a Gemini or somebody that has Gemini or Capricorn in their chart. Or you do. Somebody's procrastinating and they may miss an opportunity because of that. What's this tower? The three of swords. Somebody just, oh, somebody's, what's somebody heart, oh, what is somebody heartbroken over? You could be seeing three, three, three. Saturn and Libra. If anybody's heartbroken, it's because they... There's a negative pattern on repeat. 
somebody keeps going back to somebody or keeps doing the same shit and expecting something different. So that's that's that what that heartache is for some of y'all. Um, but something could be happening all of a sudden. Somebody could be getting bad news all of a sudden. There could be something about a malpractice that happened to somebody and it could be heartbreaking. Maybe somebody here, yeah, this could be somebody that didn't do their job properly in healthcare or in the health field or something like that. Let's see, what's this? Um, th you could be seeing 333, three, three. who else got that? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries. Three of Swords. Yeah, nine of cups. Somebody could be coming in with some news, bad news. Some somebody could be saying with somebody could be telling somebody what they don't want to hear, or you know something like that. Maybe somebody doesn't want to accept or surrender or release something or someone. Yeah, nine of cups. A lot of y'all could be in your head. Y'all can have an idea, or you can have a lot of ideas. You could be really creative, but you need to follow your heart with something. Something could be coming. I don't know if like somebody something hits somebody while they're crying. Okay, and I don't know if somebody gets a sudden realization, epiphany to go. I don't know if this is like a sudden invita invitation or an inv or something that comes out of nowhere. Something that you could have not been paying attention to. Something, yeah, the universe is trying to give y'all something or or give you another way to get or achieve or have something. And you're not, you're, you're, I think a lot of y'all, you could be indecisive or maybe you're refusing to shift your perspective or surrender or make a sacrifice. You may miss, you may not see the opportunity that's in front of your face when it comes to something or someone. What's the ace of wands? Six of wands. You could be seeing six, six, six. Some, some of y'all are too stuck in the past or you're too stuck on something or a grudge or something from emotionally. Okay. Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Gemini, Aries, got 666. I mean, you're coming out on top with something. Some of you guys could be in the public eye. Some of you guys, there could be like stardom and fame that's meant for you. Somebody could be really popular. Somebody could be let somebody could have let the success or let attention get to their head. So maybe they, they didn't somebody here maybe they didn't choose right or they were somebody was taking too long to make a decision if this is about love because they, maybe they have other options or maybe I don't know, somebody else was on their dick or on their vagina more or something like that. I don't know. Somebody let the attention or success get to their head. Somebody could have revoked their offer from one person and gave it to somebody else. What's this nine of cups here? Yeah, somebody could have took bad advice from somebody. Um, this could be a friend of someone's, a third party, somebody here that's bitter. Somebody could have got lied and gossiped about somebody. So somebody didn't want to date or take somebody serious. Maybe somebody just wanted to use somebody for sex because of somebody could have been trying to fuck up somebody's reputation or make them seem like they're they're just nothing but somebody to just fuck around with. And somebody there's a missed opportunity. Or somebody here is still bitter about something or there's an ex of somebody's that somebody just keeps dealing with or whatever this is. Somebody here could be a somebody here is a liar and they're they're jealous, they're nasty, they're a toxic person, and they're very insincere. Somebody here just knows how to love bomb somebody. Some yeah, somebody could have said or did something really mean, passive aggressive. Somebody could have even tried to embarrass somebody. Or put somebody's business out there to make somebody look at someone a certain way. I got that heavily for Virgo. You can have Virgo in your chart, moon rising or Venus. September Virgo, September Libra here. Somebody is better and they're a habitual liar. What's inner peace? Yeah, eight of wands in reverse. So somebody here ain't got no inner peace. Mercury and Sag. You could be seeing eight, eight, eight. Something could be canceled. There could be bad timing. Sagittarius, Virgo, or somebody listened to their weird ass. Somebody took bad advice from somebody when it came to you, or you took bad advice. Or you let your negativity, or you could have misjudged this person, or whatever. And maybe you gave your offer to the wrong person. So you got to deal with those consequences, or they do. Um, 
Sagittarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Aquarius, and Leo got 888. Ada, what's in the piece? Yeah, Ten of Swords here in reverse. You could be seeing um, Ten of Swords here again. You could be seeing 10, 10, 10. Pisces. Pisces, Capricorn, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, and Leo got 10, 10, 10. What's Eight of Swords and Eight of Wands in reverse? Somebody could be projecting a lot of negativity onto you. So if you're feeling anxiety or you're, and you're overthinking things, that's somebody projecting that onto you. Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody here is trying to make you feel like you're out of options or that you're make, you're going in the wrong direction. You're making the wrong choice. Mars and uh, Aries here. Some of you guys, something you can feel like you're at a stalemate or you're stuck, but you're not. Somebody here ain't, yeah. There's a friend here or somebody's ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend or somebody's fake ass friend has spread a rumor or lie about somebody that you wanted to date or somebody that wanted to date you. Something about somebody's fake ass friends or somebody's fucking weird ass, bitter ass ex. Somebody's mad that somebody moved on and, and, and somebody, yeah, somebody's been in cahoots with somebody's fake ass friend or a third party or whoever's been in cahoots with somebody's ex to block somebody's love life and all types of things. Somebody here is a loser. <laughs> a lot of malicious gossip, false accusations, all types of things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody lost an, somebody lost something or somebody of value because of listening to a fucking hating ass, hate hater hating ass or bitter ass ex or a friend or whoever. People think that if a person has more than somebody or more than them that they should take their advice. That's so stupid, y'all. And that's what I'm saying. People are too superficial. People are too visual. People are too shallow. Two of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Seven of Wands. There could be blocked communication. Something is backfiring on somebody. Somebody thinks they're getting away with something, but they're not. Somebody's guilt is eating their ass alive. Somebody's trying to act. Somebody here could have put you in the middle of something or somebody put somebody needed somebody didn't mind their fucking business like they were supposed to. And now something is going back on somebody. They should have minded that somebody ain't gonna have no fucking peace. Somebody could try to steal or take something from you, or this was you. Somebody ain't gonna have no peace. Mars and Mars and Leo here with this seven of wands in reverse. Somebody needed to mind their fucking business. Seven of wands in reverse. Somebody's a loser. Like, mind your business. How hard is that for people? Mind your business. If you don't have anything nice or constructive to say, you know, people have to start at questioning themselves. Somebody's ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend or somebody who's supposed to be somebody's friend is talking bad about their so-called friend or their ex. You don't, you're not going to ask yourself if they're a fucking hater. Or bitter or jealous. You the people don't people just don't people you know, okay, what's the seven what's uh who else got seven seven seven? Sagittarius Cancer Aquarius Aries Y'all be like, well, this person is in a relationship. This person is married. This person has this. They have that. They have more than the other person who they're talking bad about. So I, you know, it must be true. Like, are y'all like, what's not? It's like the lights is on and nobody's home. Why y'all? Why do y'all? Seven of Wands in reverse. There could be block. And what's this? Seven of Wands in reverse. Somebody crossed the line. Yeah, the Emperor. This could be a father figure of somebody's Aries energy. Yeah, competition. Somebody here just didn't know how to... Somebody runs their mouth too fucking much. Somebody's mad too. Somebody here is two-faced. Two, somebody's two-faced as fuck. And who's this emperor? Oh, man. Yeah, the moon in reverse. Yeah, this could be a man. Or a woman. Anyways, the moon in reverse. Somebody is just... Yeah, this, is a, this could be somebody's fake-ass friend. This could be a, a bitter-ass man. Somebody could be a Capricorn, Aquarius, man or woman. Somebody could be born in uh, January. Yeah, somebody here could be losing a lot of money. Or they, somebody could have stolen something from somebody. A piece of jewelry from a sibling, a friend. Or somebody here could have lied. on some, it's a, I'm getting a whole bunch of things. But somebody here could have, this could be somebody's bitter ass ex who spreaded a lie or a rumor about somebody. Somebody's fake ass friend, somebody even whatever. 
this could be a couple that's doing this. What's the tennis was in reverse? Yeah, somebody here just can't mind their fucking business. Somebody's just nosy. Like, you gotta be shitting me. <laughs> Somebody's obsessed with somebody. Obsessed. If they're in a new relationship, if, 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 if somebody's in a relationship or they're in a new one, you don't think it's weird that they're still obsessed or trying to make their ex look bad to people so that you don't date them? You don't think that's weird? Crosswatcher or Scorpio, whoever's watching, you don't think that's weird? Or you don't think a friend or family member betraying their sister, brother, cousin, friend, or partner is, you don't think something is weird about that? You're so focused on what's being said about a particular person. You're not focusing on the messenger. Like, that's like, what's not clicking for somebody? What's not clicking? Y'all too gullible and naive. Y'all too, people, somebody here is too old. This is like high school. What's this page of swords? Judgment in reverse, false accusations, gossip. <laughs> somebody talking about somebody that's none of their fucking business because they're fucking bitter and miserable. For some of you guys, if you're a man and there's a woman talking shit about another woman that you want to date, that person actually likes that girl. And if you're a woman, same thing regarding a man that this could be somebody that's on the down low or who secretly likes somebody. That's why. Somebody doesn't want you or somebody to be happy. Somebody's manipulative. They're they're a bully. They they throw the rock and hide their hands and then they feel guilty about it. And then they try to like convince themselves that they didn't do nothing wrong. Somebody's mind and brain is like really twisted. Judgment in reverse. Somebody is bitter. Yeah, pay this is a fake ass friend. I'm telling you. <laughs> somebody got a very disloyal friend or family member. This could be somebody's own actual sister brother somebody here's a, a pick I, I'm, I'm getting pick misha or pick kwan somebody's a pick me man or woman somebody's willing to betray their own friend homegirl sister brother cousin for some penis or vagina or just to like so they can look better so they can so they can feel better about themselves and that's why they're not gonna have shit and they're gonna and they're gonna have to watch the very person that they're trying to tarnish and fuck up have everything that they wished and that they ever wanted period that's how that works somebody could have yeah somebody could this could be spell work somebody is like cursing somebody by way of saying negative things about them trying to fuck up their reputation and gossip about them page of pentacles somebody could have friend zoned the wrong person what's the page of pentacles in the reverse Somebody procrastinated. Somebody here rejected somebody, friend zone. Somebody procrastinated on accepting an offer in love or business or whatever opportunity this was because their judgment was clouded. Or you got, or somebody went against their better judgment. Now they have, now somebody's upset. Somebody ain't gonna have no fucking inner peace. They should have minded their fucking business. Now this person's gonna, this child, what's this? What's the four cups? Moon and Cancer. Four swords. Somebody's gonna be. Oh yeah, child. You could be seeing four, four, four. Yeah. Now I, I feel like somebody could be realizing this now. It's too late because somebody who, if you curve somebody because of what somebody said about them, they don't want you no more. Or if they curved you for some stupid shit, you don't want them no more. Whoever, whatever it is, Jupiter and Libra. And for those of you, if you're watching and you bitches are doing spell work or you stole from your own family, siblings, friends, whatever you're trying to grow or procreate or create is gonna is not gonna is not gonna happen for you. You're gonna live a very miserable life. Uh -huh. You think you're doing something, you're gonna live a very miserable life, and this person's gonna go on and have success, love, and you're gonna have nothing. You're gonna be with people who use you, abuse you, that's all you're gonna keep attracting dysfunction so i hope you know i hope it was worth it for those of you who are watching who are doing shit to people innocent people just out of jealousy i hope it was worth it just because you're bitter because you don't know how to you undervalue yourself and you choose bullshit so you're mad at somebody else for loving themselves and doing the inner work i hope you're happy when that karma hits when that backfire hits because it's, it's you know y'all keep thinking y'all getting away with things you're not
I feel like somebody stole from their own sibling or own family member. It, whether it was a piece, a necklace, a piece of gold, a jewelry. Um, they, somebody here could be in cahoots with somebody's ex, their child's mother, father, friend, co-worker, whatever it is. I feel like there's a lot of a lot of fake shit here going on in this reading. And, and 2024 is the worst year for it. It's the worst year. People are going to have seven to eight plus years of bad karma for, for what they did this year to people. I don't care if you stole a fucking pen from somebody, bitch. Give it back. I don't care if it was a fucking, uh, a, a fucking crystal, a fucking, a, a, a necklace. Whatever was not yours, you need to give it back. Somebody's overthinking or whatever you try, whatever you partake in, whatever you, if you knew, if you have information about something that's been done or said about somebody, you're not saying it, you're going to pay for that too. You're just as guilty. You're just as guilty. Because you've been smiling in somebody's face the whole time, not telling them what's been going on. You're just as guilty. So, however it's going. Four Swords, Jupiter, and Libra. Yeah, somebody here is overthinking. Somebody here could have took too long to make a decision. They took too, they procrastinated. They didn't know what they want, who they wanted, or, or they didn't know what was the truth, what was the lie. Oh, well, you snooze, you lose. Oracle messages. We got play here. Yeah, somebody played too much. Y'all bitches is really some haters. And y'all and y'all people who listen to gossip and rumors instead of asking, instead of going to the source, you're weak. You're weak. And for those of you who care about which is, for those of you who don't want to date outside of your race, your culture, or your norm, you're weak too. So don't be so be so just continue to, to go on and be in the same bullshit relationships and situations because you're so narrow-minded you're so superficial you're so shallow and you're so fucking uh narrow-minded and racist or prejudice resistance yeah somebody's resistant to change yeah honor yourself somebody here needs to really work on this somebody here needs to work on their self-esteem man or woman yeah, trust. So y'all could be overthinking something. You need to have faith. Some y'all could need to meditate a bit more. You can, okay. Yeah, we got truth. Yeah, the, tr the truth is going to come out and somebody's not going to be too happy. With Some of you guys pay attention to your dreams. People are showing up. People are getting revealed in your dreams. Who's been working with who? Who don't really fuck with you? Even if everybody, even if those people aren't in cahoots, your dreams could be showing you just who's around you, who got, everybody got their own agenda for shit. And that could be what you're seeing. And maybe somebody doesn't want to see. Maybe somebody here just, they want somebody thinks somebody could be non-confrontational. They don't want to say something, confront something. They just rather have peace by keeping quiet or not getting in the middle of it or not saying anything or, or ignoring or, or pretending like they don't know what's going on. Okay. Okay. We'll see how that works. Your inner voice transition. What else? <laughs> y'all always think y'all getting away. And if it's, and you know, something, it could be a Scorpio that's doing this to somebody. Because Scorpios always think they're getting away with stuff. Scorpios always think they're so mysterious and so sneaky. Y'all are not. That's why y'all don't, y'all so, that's why, let me shut up. Resilience. <laughs> Is it resilience or are you being stubborn and, res and you're just resisting change? It's, you know, somebody here, a risk is needed. No risk, no reward here. Yeah, some say, say, well, some, somebody here is having fertility issues because they're hateful, they're nasty, and they're a thief. They take from their own family, their own friends. They betray their own family and friends or people close to them, whatever this is. Somebody, they, somebody here, and for others of you, somebody here is always going to be in karmic relationships because they don't honor themselves. They don't love themselves. They'll never know what love is because they hate themselves. What else? And we have just be. Somebody here needs to learn how to trust and, and not do things in haste and not judge people on in haste. Tranquility here. Yeah, somebody can have no fucking peace. Or somebody here trying to disturb your peace or distract you at work or fuck up what you're doing for work or just fuck up your inner peace. Somebody here is trying to come in and disturb your hard work, which you've worked hard on emotionally, mentally, financially, or whatever the fuck it is. People are miserable. You'll be surprised. Family, friends, exes, new people, you'll be surprised. I don't care what's, I don't, like I said, I don't care if you're in the shelter. I don't care if somebody has more than you. I don't care if they, if, if whatever it is, people are very bitter. Don't judge people based on what they have and think that you can trust what they, please. 
please please somebody ain't got no fucking peace they so fucking miserable and that's why they do this shit to people. And then they want, and then they get mad when they get into relationships with men or women who use and abuse them. You're using and abusing people close to you who didn't do shit to you. So I have, dummy, y'all trying to take from people and mistreat people that don't deserve to mistreat that man or woman who uses and abuses your ass. How, mis, steal from them. Why steal from your sister, brother, fam, mother, father? Why mistreat the person? Why go around and use other men and women for money and sex and steal from people? Steal and misuse and abuse the people that misuse and abuse you. Duh, dummy. You hustling backwards. And that's why y'all be sitting there crying. Oh, they did that to me again. But let me go and, and, and steal from somebody that, that care, actually cares about me or who or you know, like y'all are stupid. Or let me go use somebody who actually wants to take me serious because I, I keep going back to this ex who doesn't really fuck with me or give a fuck about me. But uh, I need their approval so bad because the problem is also the solution. Y'all just ask backwards. The problem is not the fucking solution. Let like like understand that somebody has a hard time accepting something or someone for who and what they are. Or somebody needs to accept who they are themselves. Whatever this is, <laughs> I don't know if that's something to do with somebody's sexuality or I don't know. But this is, this reading pissed me off again. <laughs> uh, somebody just somebody just wants to ignore the somebody here is, is just really sleep. Uh, just somebody's in a self absorbed energy. Somebody could be having headaches, migraines, cramps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, hmm. y'all be and, and y'all be the same ones in people's faces your brothers sisters family friends people that actually care about y'all y'all be in their face hey or you know trying to you know and it's like oh, don't think people don't know <laughs> i'm a scorpio moon i know listen i know i know everything i just don't I just, i'm not gonna confront you i'm gonna just move around and handle you accordingly so when i don't trust you with nothing with my business, my child, when I only give you just an, you know, when I have you on a leash with certain things, don't get mad. Y'all can't get mad when people don't trust y'all when y'all do untrustworthy things. Or this is, or this could be cross watch or whoever. You can't, people get mad when they're not trust when they're not trusted, when they do, un, when, and y'all think because people haven't caught y'all or, or people didn't, or they don't have proof or evidence that they can't, that y'all, people listen. There are people in the world that listen to their intuition. I'm one of them. I don't need proof and evidence every time or all the time. If I feel something shady or funny, it's curtains for you. I'm going to treat you accordingly. Period. If your family, I'm only going to give you about this much. When it comes, I don't give, especially when it comes to my child, I don't give a fuck. You bitches won't, please. <laughs> I don't care. Sister, mother, brother, cousin, father, uncle, nana, aunt cousin whoever okay when it comes to friends when it comes to my business or any i don't care who you are when i even get a whiff of some funny shit bitch and bitch is gender neutral like i said if i even get a whiff that you want some shady shit that you took something from me or that you would or you will or you would betray me or you would fucking pick me or you don't have no standards no morals you don't love yourself i can't trust i can't and don't trust nobody who does not love themselves I don't. I can't. And neither should you. Nobody should trust. No, nobody should even. If you don't love or respect yourself, somebody has no standards. I don't know how anybody trusts somebody who don't love or like themselves. They will. A person that allows themselves to be betrayed by a particular person or people will betray you. They hate. I mean, anyways. Go watch Virgo. Something about go watch Virgo's reading. Some of you guys can have Virgo in your chart as your moon sign, your Venus, your Mars, your 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 rising. Go while you're dealing with somebody that got Virgo in their chart, or there's a Virgo. Somebody could be born in September or or, or August that could be involved in this, or somebody you know whatever. But yep, somebody's in their head now. They're overthinking. Somebody here could be feeling rejected, ignored. Somebody's messages, phone calls is not going through. Yeah, bitch, why would they? Some of y'all be backstabbing and betraying the wrong people, being nasty to the wrong people. Y'all need to go sit on somebody's couch. Y'all need to go get some help. 
this is your reading. Like, comment, and say, this is why these keep, this is why y'all keep ending up in these karmic ass, abusive ass connections. Look how y'all treat decent people. So, I have. Y'all ain't gonna, nobody, somebody here ain't, ain't gonna grow or have shit. And I don't feel bad. Neither should you. If this is something that's happening to you, cross watch If this is a Scorpio doing this to you, you shouldn't feel bad. Uh, this is your reading, Scorpio. This reading pissed me off. This was your reading, Scorpio. This is what happens when people need to mind their business and put their eyes on their own paper and stop trying to compete with people. Somebody don't know what to do with those feelings of jealousy. Somebody doesn't know how to constructively and productively channel that energy and use it as motivation. Somebody here just wants to compete and, and just tear other people down or take from other people to feel like they're, they, they're just as good. Some things are just out of your fucking league. Some, some, and let's face it, you, some people, you, you, some, sometimes you cannot pull the same men or women that somebody else pulls. It, it's, it's, you gotta, somebody needs to accept where they're at on a totem pole in life. Some things you can change to get better in, and some things you just gotta accept. You just not, you just not that girl. You're not that guy, and that's okay. But trying to take something from somebody else out of jealousy or or mate or 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 backstab and betray somebody because you're a hater, you're a loser, and you're never gonna have shit. You're not gonna have good connections. You're gonna be all because you're so sneaky and so you're gonna keep meeting people that sneak you. So when you're like, oh, why do I keep meeting people that just use and abuse me? Because you're a fucking snake your damn self. You could be seeing 1111 or 111. Bye, Scorpio. <laughs> this is your reading. Somebody could be giving birth in seven to eight months or at seven or eight months. Somebody's not going to make it to full term. If they are pregnant, they're going to have the baby at seven or eight months. Okay. So if you're six months pregnant, two more months. Or whatever, but something about seven for that. And for those of you who are with child, um, and for those in the, and for those of you who've been doing snake shit, you're not gonna. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, this was your reading, Scorpio. Um, somebody here could be unemployed too. Somebody owes somebody. Somebody took something from somebody and they owe somebody here owes someone something. And until they give it back, replace it or buy it back or give it back or apologize or tell the truth or or speak up about some type of injustice, rumors, lies, gossip, betrayal, information, insight, they're gonna be getting back karma. So this is your reading Scorpio. Bye.